Hello and welcome to EDTC 621 Instructional Design. This is a course from Ramapo College as a part of the Masters of Science in Educational Technology. This is our introduction to our course. And I do want to share with you that our course is online. Primary methods of communication are going to be via email and Google Hangouts. Our primary instructional site is www.ehorner.net forward slash edtc621. We are going to present our work online via sessions and blocks, and that will come into play later on when we start talking about grading. The primary technologies that we have as part of our course are going to be through WordPress, Google Classroom, Google Docs, and Screencastify. Note that you will be submitting some of your work via Screencastify, but the free version is just fine. Instructional design is the practice of creating instructional experiences which make the acquisition of knowledge and skills more efficient, effective, and appealing. I'm not going to read the rest of this to you. It is part of our syllabus, and I encourage you to go read that syllabus. But I think that the important parts of this particular paragraph are the idea that instructional design is informed by pedagogy or andragogy, depending on your audience, and incorporating tested theories of learning. There are many models out there, and we're going to be applying many of the things that you've learned in your MSCT program so far to this particular uh, course. In this particular course, you're going to be developing your knowledge on how to develop materials via a multimedia web content platform. You're going to be looking at multiple areas of being graded. You're going to have grades on your weekly assignments. Those weekly assignments are going to build into a module one, which is basically a web design unit. And ultimately, these skills that you learn will lead you to a final project in which you are going to develop a small e-learning project. So at this point, I'm going to pause the video. So I jump over to some other information I need to give you. Hold on one. Okay, here we are at our primary instructional site. And this is where you're going to start with all of your content area. And let me jump to the home page. The most important portion of what you're going to be doing in this particular site is looking at your session assignments. Although I do have some other content here, here that you do need to pay attention to per Ramapo College. I've got our course syllabus and outline online. I also have a course calendar um, embedded into our assignments. I've got links to the Ramapo College site for your um, student access, as well as Ramapo academic calendars. And if you haven't done so by now, Ramapo College does require that you join the Alert Me Now to be informed of any kind of updates or changes to the status of the campus. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the assignments. Again, this is an online course, so much of this course is going to be delivered by this site, as well as teaching videos. The first chunk of the information, first of all, every page starts with an explanation of blocks versus sessions. Each block is made of three different sessions, roughly three weeks worth of learning. And this particular block, you will see that you have a variety of different due dates. I open up each session the week before. And if you take a look at this under session one, here is an orientation to our particular session one. So once again, I explain the idea that each class is named a session and that there are blocks. And I also explain, very important, that each block is worth 10% of your overall grade. So that's 40% of your overall grade. Block five is a final project, and that's worth 40% of your overall grade. And you also have weekly activities and exercises, which is the balance of your graded uh, percentages. 
Most of the work is going to be due on Sunday evening, but as a hint, I usually don't grade until Monday. All of your work is going to be submitted in one of four places, your personal MSCT portfolio website, the EDTC 621 site that you create in this course, the sandbox that you create in this course, and Google Classroom. You do not need to yet worry about the creation of the two extra websites. We will do that as part of session two. In this week, you've got some activities that you need to take a look at. This particular video that you're watching right now is part of step one. You have four little assignments that you need to complete with assignment four being the one that you'll have to invest a little bit of time in. You need to read these three different articles and you need to answer the questions in the Google Classroom. And speaking of which, let me jump over to our Google Classroom. You will have been sent a join code for our instructional design Google Classroom. Most of this site is going to be used for grading your projects as well as posting spaces for you to add individual assignments. That is the completion of our introduction video. I hope that you have a good time in this class. Please, please, please email me if you have any questions or you have any concerns. Talk to you later.